GN's Connor McCauley has been closely following the flooding situation all this week, and he joined us now live with more on what emergency officials are saying. Connor. Thanks, Jill and Dennis. Flooding continues to impact Missoula and much of western Montana and is expected to for weeks. Multiple agencies have been out in full force to deal with this flooding, but it continues to be a crisis for Missoula. More roads have been closed off to the public and the Missoula County Sheriff's Office emphasizes that people stay off of these roads even if they don't look dangerous. There have been bystanders wanting to see the floodwaters, but officials say this is becoming an issue for residents in the area. New evacuation warnings were handed out to 10 additional homes last night and three received orders in Missoula County. More homes still might receive warnings, especially for people who are along the Bitterroot and Clark Fork rivers. The Sheriff's Office says that people living along the river should be prepared to self-evacuate and that they will receive the alert through the Rave Alert system. And so what we're attempting to do is do these Rave Alerts <clears throat> where, putting people under, where we're putting people under warning. So we're just, it's going to be a, a fairly medium-sized message telling people that this is their warning, that if you live adjacent to the river, um, obviously there is flooding in the area, and please do not expect someone to come to their residence to warn them that, that there's flooding in the area. This, this is, will basically be the warning. Now some flood waters have came from not the rivers, but actually the ground. I'm here off of Short Street where, as you can tell, this cul-de-sac has been flooded by groundwater. It has rendered sandbags ineffective and residents have turned to pumps to try to get the water out of their area. Missoula, Connor McCauley, MTN News.